those of you guys that still rocking like a Walkman or an iPod Classic in my case, which this is not mine's. Well, this used to be mine's. One of them have the engraving. Let me. Yeah, so this one was officially mine's. It actually had the engraving. You guys can see my face there. I don't have no always home at. Oh. So yeah, so 2005 I had this iPod. This is the iPod Video. This is the iPod Classic. And this is the iPod Classic 160 gigabyte edition. So you want to turn your iPod into Bluetooth. Very, very easy. Yeah, so it's very easy to do. Just get yourself one of these. A Bluetooth transmitter. So basically a Bluetooth transmitter. Tongue twister right there. But basically turn any of these iPods or Walkman. Anything that's old as hell like these. Into Bluetooth. So I got myself a Bose SoundLink Mini. Alright. I'm going to just turn one of these iPods into Bluetooth. So... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you guys have one of these and you want to basically have the iPod Bluetooth But at the time it didn't have Bluetooth. So it was just asked out Now don't make the mistake. I did I got the Bluetooth Receiver this receiver basically would turn your headphones Into like a Bluetooth so if they both receiving, you know, it's no, it's no giving so get yourself a transmitter This is gonna give this is basically putting this thing here All right, so Let's take a look in the box. All right, you got your books. I'm not gonna be reading this. Well, maybe I should. I think it's important. All right, so power button. Okay, boom, 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 boom. All right, all right, all right. You know, I I'm gonna figure it out on my own. All right, so this is how it look. You know, L Dream. It looks very, very glossy, guys. Just glistening right there in your eyes. You got your standard on off switch. I'm surprised they even have that. I'm surprised it's not an on off button. Alright, so I'm pretty sure once you switch this baby on and plug it in, it's on pairing mode. Alright, you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or a 3.5 uh, millimeter auxiliary cable. Guys, bear with me here. <laughs> Alright, and you got your micro USB cable to charge this thing up. You do gotta charge this. That's one more thing you gotta add to your charging collection. All right, so it's flashing, so which means it is on pairing mode. You turn on your Bluetooth device. In this case, is this. 100%. All right, you push to whatever parry button is on your Bluetooth speaker. Okay. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Connected to ACTBGDV. <laughs> okay, I thought it would say L Dream, but it is connected. So now. Once this thing is connected, oops, once this thing is connected, but you know what? There's a better idea. Since they gave you this wire, now it's going to be hanging down. See? For example, it's going to be hanging down. It's a long wire. So what I'm going to do is, we can just swap out the cables. So this, just take this one out. This is the, uh, <laughs> just dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so forget it. I'm going to just put it in the description. So you just plug it into this. All right, take one of these iPods. This one is not working. Got this one in 2005 for my birthday. Uh, this one, I'm gonna just use this one. All right, my mom. This is my mom's iPod. I gave it to her because she needed an iPod, and I had the iPod Touch. And going back to this one, you guys remember this screen? Ugh, hated this. I didn't know what to do. I tried everything. Uh, so yeah, just simply plug it in. All right. Now it looks a little doofy. It looked like a old school phone. It looked like an old school phone. All right, so let's try something. Uh, all these music is copyrighted. All right, Keisha Cole. Let's, let's play Keisha Cole, some R&B. Uh, let's turn it down. All right, so keep in mind, this is connected right now. All right? And look, voila. And for all y'all trolls, this is the iPod Classic, so it doesn't have a built-in speaker inside of it. So... You know, just keep in mind, there's no speaker on this thing. So it gotta be working. And it works. And you know, one thing I like about these iPods, look at the gigs. 80 gigabytes. You guys probably can't see it. So much scratches. 80 gigabytes. The iPhone 6S is still struggling to get 80 gigs. Only have 16. So, you know, it's amazing on how much space. This one has a whopping 160. This one here is 30. Shit. 
that's what we want in these iPods. If you have an iPod, you need this, especially for technology today. You need this thing right here, the L Dream. I throw a link in the description. I think it cost me like thirteen dollars, so it's, it's cheap. Alrighty, guys, I am done with this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, appreciate it with a thumbs up. The L Dream. This thing is nice, an accessory. That is an accessory, an a necessity. Oh my God, let me stop. All right, I'm done. And follow me on social media. I'm done.